And new research suggests that past COVID-19 infections may not provide protection against the new coronavirus variant. South African scientists found that a percentage of people who were previously infected have been reinfected with Omicron. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, joining us now with more. And Dr. Nandi, please tell us more about this study and how high was that reinfection rate? So Glenda, the latest study is a little bit worrisome. And why? Because typically past coronavirus infections often gave protection, at least when it came to Delta. But now this new variant Omicron appears to be changing that, at least based on this particular study. So here's what the scientists did. They looked at data from 2.7 million people in South Africa who had been infected with the virus. And then of that group, over 35,000 people had COVID-19 more than once. And when the researchers, when they looked at the, the cases that happened in November, they found that 14.2% ended up getting infected for the third time. Now, we're not saying 100% that the Omicron variant is causing these reinfections, but when you look at the genetically sequenced samples, finding out what type of the virus it is in South Africa, when you looked at that last month, Omicron accounted for 74% of them. So it's it's quite likely, likely that this new variant is driving reinfections. However, we need more data. It's coming in from genetically sequenced samples. So we'll know later this month if indeed Omicron is really causing reinfections or not. So if those antibodies don't appear to be holding up, what about the vaccines, Doc? Did researchers include vaccinated people in this study? In this study, Glenda, the, the, the study did not include vaccinated people, but the scientists do recognize that, listen, it's really urgent to find out if Omicron is able to escape immunity that's acquired when we get vaccinated, right? Because if it does sidestep that protection, then we need to know if people are more at risk for getting hospitalized or dying. Remember, the vaccines, if I could go back, what vaccines do is activate different layers of the immune response. Some work to fight off infections, while others work to protect the body from developing severe disease. And immunity that comes from vaccines is stronger than immunity from infection. A lot of people don't know that. And I personally feel that our vaccines will provide protection. But to know for sure, we have to see the results from laboratory testing and, and what we call epidemiologic studies. In the meantime, let's not forget that here in America, Delta is still the main variant. I know that their Omicron variant cases have skyrocketed in places like South Africa. They went from 200 a day to 16,000 in just a couple of weeks. So we, we have to watch it. But right now in the US, Delta is the problem. And our cases are continuing to rise with Delta. And once again, the U.S. is averaging 100,000 cases a day. So we know that the vaccination works for Delta. So please get vaccinated. And if you are if you can, get the booster if you're eligible. That's how we're going to stay on top of it. And we'll give more information about the Omicron as it comes along, Glenda. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for that update. And if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.